Each type of protein has a particular three-dimensional structure, which is determined by the order of the amino acids in its polypeptide chain. The final folded structure, or conformation, adopted by any polypeptide chain is determined by energetic considerations. A protein generally folds into the shape in which its free energy is minimized. The folding process is thus energetically favorable, as it releases heat and increases the disorder of the universe. Protein folding has been studied in the laboratory using highly purified proteins. A protein can be unfolded, or denatured, by treatment with solvents that disrupt the non-covalent interactions holding the folded chain together. This treatment converts the protein into a flexible polypeptide chain that has lost its natural shape. Under the right conditions, when the denaturing solvent is removed, the protein often refolds spontaneously into its original conformation, a process called renaturation. The fact that a denatured protein can, on its own, refold into the correct conformation indicates that all the information necessary to specify the three-dimensional shape of a protein is contained in its amino acid sequence. Each protein normally folds into a single stable conformation. This conformation, however, often changes slightly when the protein interacts with other molecules in the cell. This change in shape is crucial to the function of the protein, as we discuss later. When proteins fold incorrectly, they sometimes form aggregates that can damage cells and even whole tissues. Misfolded proteins are thought to contribute to a number of neurodegenerative disorders, such as Alzheimer's disease and Huntington's disease. Some infectious neurodegenerative diseases, including scrupy in sheep, bovine spongiform encephalopathy, BSE, or mad cow disease, in cattle, and Kratzfeld Jacob disease, CJD, in humans, are caused by misfolded proteins called prions. The misfolded prion form of a protein can convert the properly folded version of the protein in an infected brain into the abnormal conformation. This allows the misfolded prions, which tend to form aggregates, to spread rapidly from cell to cell eventually causing the death of the affected animal or human. Prions are considered infectious because they can also spread from an affected individual to a normal individual via contaminated food, blood, or surgical instruments, for example. Although a protein chain can fold into its correct conformation without outside help, protein folding in a living cell is generally assisted by special proteins called chaperone proteins. Some of these chaperones bind to partly folded chains and help them to fold along the most energetically favorable pathway. Others form isolation chambers in which single polypeptide chains can fold without the risk of forming aggregates in the crowded conditions of the cytoplasm. In either case, the final three-dimensional shape of the protein is still specified by its amino acid sequence. Chaperones merely make the folding process more efficient and reliable.